County from your name. Three knockdown rule has been waived. The mandatory eight count is in effect. You cannot be saved by the bell except after the 15th round. Neither fighter expects this bout to go the distance of 15 rounds. Both weigh in at 147 pounds. Both have a 74 inch reach. Green on the red trunks from England is about two inches shorter. It's not quite as fast as Sugar Ray Leonard, the champion in the white trunks. Sugar Ray fought a little different fight in getting the title from Wilfred Benitez just four months ago in Las Vegas, November 30th. It'll be interesting to see just how he attacks the challenger. Ten point must if you're scoring. Ten to the winner, nine or less to the loser of a round. 14,000 watching here at Capitol Center in Landover, Maryland. It's a probing first round. Sugar Ray keeping those hands very, very low. Davy Green of England in red. Keeping them both up. He has a good overhand right. That one got inside, but it was short of the chin. And incidentally, Green has a protruding chin. A great target. Sugar Ray Leonard's fast combination. Look at that jab by Sugar Ray Leonard. The champion here in the first round. That was blocked beautifully by the left hand of the challenger. Clean hits, aggressiveness, defense, and ring generalship are the four points that these three officials will be looking for in judging this fight. The ring is 18 by 18 with a minute and a half remaining in the first round. Sugar Ray would like a, a little larger ring because then he can use his speed and maneuverability to advantage. But he's staying in close, not backing off, hoping to counterpunch. But Green being very, very cautious. Second title chance. Win against Carlos Palomino. And there is a left jab that finds the side of the face of Green. Green has been knocked out twice. Only two losses in 35 fights. He has scored 26 knockouts. Sugar Ray undefeated 26. Look at the speed of those two jabs. Doubling up with them. Now Ray's up on the toes. Oh, a beautiful right hand lead. A sneak punch. Followed by a left hook. You've got about a 30 seconds here in round one. And oh, there goes the Holly Shuffle. 14,000 fans left their hometown champion. The area around the left eye of Green of England is reddened already. He, he really got caught high with that right hand lead by the champion. And the bell will end the first round in just 10 seconds here in Landover, Maryland. Another heavyweight champion yet to come. That's referee Arthur Mark or Cathy telling them to stay near their corner until the bell sounds. And this is the start of the second round, a probing round for both welterweights. The champion in white, if you just joined us, undefeated, 26 fights. First title defense, first time in the United States in red. From generous Cambridge, England, Davy Boy Green. WBC rules. And again, as round one ended, the two came near one another and were pushing each other around. Much to the chagrin of the referee, Arthur McConaughey. Leonard now getting in just a little closer, allowing the challenger to get within range of those long and fast red ear like punches. But now the challenger is going to the left jab. Watch for that long right hand that he throws, sort of overhand. That's why Sugar Ray has to watch about keeping that left hand around his uh, hip bone. Bring it up a little higher. The right hand of Leonard is cocked. Just joined us in the first round. He set a whistling right hand lead. There's a good left hook to the body. All right, we've had two upsets already in Knoxville, Tennessee. Eddie Gregory over Marvin Johnson in the light heavyweight championship. And Mike Weaver knocked out Cole John Tate. We'll be going there between rounds to Keith Jackson's get a report on Tate. With a minute and a half remaining in the second round. No knockdowns, need a fighter cut. That was caught on the shoulder. Sugar Ray, uh, the pressure being put on a little bit more by the Englishman, former British and European junior welterweight champion. Ooh, 
a good left hook high on the forehead to DeRay. He buckled just for a moment. Quickly raised up, but that was a solid punch with a minute to go in the second round. So now both fighters have landed a heavy punch. First round winner with a right hand lead, and now a left hook. Great body punch followed by a left hook. Look at that one, too. Another combination, and Leonard is upset with the, his opponent. It's obvious he does not like the tactics that the challenger started. 30 seconds till the bell. There's one that got in. The other two punches were blocked. He's a banger, a brawler, this boy from Chatteris, England. Don't count him short. There's a punch that hurt Green. They need the rest. Now, let's let's go back to Knoxville, Tennessee. Tonight, the House of Upsets. And Keith Jackson. You're looking into the dressing room of John Tate, knocked out of the 15th round by Mike Weaver, Tate's first defense of his WBA heavyweight championship. A word now with Dr. Robert Whittle, who is Tate's physician, who has been active in boxing at the amateur level and professional level for a long time. What's Tate's condition, Bob? Tate's condition, physically, he's uh, uh, okay. He has a cut over his right eye, which can be repaired. He has a small mouse below his left eye. And uh, it does not appear that there's any broken bones or anything like this. Nor concussion? Yes, there was. Uh, whenever you're unconscious, there is a mild concussion. And yes, he did have a concussion from the. But it appears he will be stable. All right. His condition is stable. He's unhappy, uh, disappointed, as right. might be. Bob, thank you very much. Now let's go back to Landover, Maryland. And walking right in is the challenger in the red trucks from England. Davy Green at 147, 5 feet 8 inches tall. The champion, first title defense in white. Sugar Ray Leonard using all the ring now. There was that overhand right, way off target, thrown by the challenger. Angelo Dundee, Leonard's manager, gave him some strategy advice between rounds. A little bit more up, upright, backing away, counter punching a little more. That's what he'd like to do. But this plotter in the red trunks sometimes can change the plan. There's a little left jab that hits the chin of Green. Look at the speed of those combinations. But Green won't give up. He'll keep moving forward. A walk-in slugger. Partially blocked body punch. This is round three. Ten point must WBC championship. We gave the first round to Leonard. We called the second round a draw. Green's jab found the mark. Leonard snapping away. One at a right hand lead as he had him coming in. Missed it. Arthur McConney. Capital Center Arena, right near the home of Sugar Ray Leonard, his apartment in New Carrollton, Maryland. The six year old son is here. His wife, Juanita, his mother and father, his brothers. And the challenger in red, bobbing and weaving now, slowing down the pace a little bit, trying to land the left hook. Brought his brother, his only brother, and his mother and father from England to see the bout. Beautiful defense by Sugar Ray, snapping away from punches, then launching his own attack here in the third round. Don't forget from Las Vegas later, Larry Holmes, the champion, defending his title against Leroy Jones at 254 and a half. Howard is out there. That'll follow this bout. Quick, quick combinations, scoring points. The bell will end round three in 10 seconds. And now round 
for Leonard and White, the champion. Given advice by Angelo Dundee this time. Move in. Get him standing still and nail it. Well, let's see if he can do that against the challenger from England. Davy Green and Red on the right. He is a tough cookie. Fell into ground three. He just stood there and sneered at Sugar Ray. Those punches picked off of the gloves of Sugar Ray. He's becoming a very complete fighter. He's a good fighter. He wants to be a great one. He is yet to have his chin tested. His 27th fight. That was caught on the glove. And the audience here couldn't see it. That was blocked by the right hand of the challenger. Two minutes left in the fourth round. Good combinations. Believe me, that'll keep you off balance. What Sugar Ray would like to do is to get Dave Green backing up. But this man just keeps moving forward. Lancing punches, no damage. Neither fighter marked at this moment. Sugar Ray looked a little confused there as he got into that clinch, but covered up, no damage. Good left to the chin. Menace in round four. Now you see a little shorter range punching by the champion in white. Oh, a right hand. Most fighters would have gone down. Flush on the chin of the challenger. Combinations. Oh, and so, so long, Timber. What a series of punches. He is down the count, and it is over. Davy Boy Green is out. Shades of Knoxville, Tennessee, and John Tate. This came at about 33 seconds of round four. That is the way to win a first title defense. And again, showing you this tremendous speed of this likable boys, 23-year-old Sugar Ray Leonard. What a fighter. Now we have some concern. The doctors, we have a neurosurgeon here at ringside, which I always think is a good idea, Dr. Long. A Dr. Breacher is in there, along with the Dr. Reed Pirates of the Maryland Athletic Commission. And believe me, Davy Boy Green has moved over on his left side, and now Andy Smith, his manager, and his chief second, Danny Holland, have uh, tried to move him a bit. Hopefully not too quickly. But the speed was unbelievable, which you saw. Jabs, a hook, a right hand. And as we said, not, uh, Sugar Ray, not a devastating puncher, but the combinations add up, setting you up, getting you groggy, and then so long. 36th fight for this game challenger from Chatteris, England. It had two losses. Still groggy. Look at him. He's talking now. That's his manager on the right, Andy Smith. 2.27 of a fourth round. The winner and still champion. His seventh KO. He had 11 TKOs. So Sugar Ray Leonard with Dave Jacobs. With Yanks Martin and his manager Angelo Dundee, and still like a noodle, sportsmanlike gesture, and you can see the green is still punchy. He absorbed a tremendous amount of punishment. Ray Leonard, who felt he could find the target, and he certainly did in the fourth round. We had him winning the first, a draw in the second, and now look at the replay. Look at this. Set him up with three punches. 
and then the clincher. Watch it again. There's a right-hand lead, followed by a left hook, and that would just knock the head off of most people, and it knocked the 26-year-old challenger out. Oh, another beautiful angle by our ABC crew. They're great. If you just join us, 227 of the fourth round, and the left hook. All right. Another left hook, and snap. 